Hi guys, it's Colleen from Colleen's Kitchen. You know, I know it's a little hot outside, but I've been craving an olive oil cake that I made a couple of weeks ago that I didn't record. So, this afternoon, I decided to make it and record it. So this is what you have to do. The first thing you're gonna need is one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of whole milk, one and one quarter cup of granulated sugar, three large eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon or more, depending on how much you like it, of lemon zest, and last but not least, three quarters of a cup of really good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna take your three eggs, put it in your mixer, and whip them up for a few minutes until they become very, very fluffy. Look at how nice and fluffy those eggs have whipped up to be. Once your eggs are whipped, you're gonna add your sugar, one and a quarter cup of sugar, and you're also gonna add your lemon zest. Then you're gonna put your mixer back on pretty high and mix that up until it's well incorporated so it looks just beautifully fluffy like a cloud. So your most important ingredient, obviously, is your olive oil and uh, you need to drizzle it into your mixture. And yes, I spilled some, but what good is a recipe unless you have stains from your making it? You're adding the olive oil, slowly, slowly drizzling it into your mixture. It's going to take a while for the olive oil to incorporate, so while it's incorporating, add your salt and your baking powder to your flour mixture. Just take a whisk and get that incorporated. And then you're going to start incorporating your flour to your mixture. See how nice the olive oil was mixed in? It just takes a little time. So add in half of your flour mixture, then you're going to want to add all of your milk. And it's going to be very liquidy. So once your milk is added, you're going to want to add the rest of your flour. Of course, you're going to want to have your mixer on low because you don't want to have a flour bath while you're doing this. And once you get all your flour into the mixture, you're going to let it mix for a while till it's well incorporated. It's going to be nice and creamy. Don't forget to scrape down your sides. And look at how creamy that is. You're going to pour that into a springform pan. Mine is kind of small. So that adjusted the cook time. You're going to take some, uh, about two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Just sprinkle it along the top. But see how small my springform pan is? This made it take a long time to cook. So you put it in a 350 degree oven and while the recipe calls for 40 to 45 minutes, mine took an hour and 20 minutes because it was very tall. But once I got it cooked and I took it out of the oven and let it cool, look at that olive oil cake. Look at how beautiful and dense it is. It's not super sweet. It's wonderful to have as a dessert, as a little snack. It's especially good with a nice cup of coffee or tea. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a try. Probably not on an 85, 90 degree day like it is today, but when it gets a little cooler, bake this up and have it for dessert tonight or a little snack with a little coffee or even breakfast. Enjoy.